right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. Burn the couches. Set the dumpsters on fire. It is time for a revolution, Dave. We cannot take this, and it's time we take a stand. I'm not one to take a stand against You're going to have to take a stand this time, my friend, because there will be no weak backs. There will be no absolute um, right or left. We are going to have to take a stand and make a call because I'm pissed. Everybody's pissed. The world's got to be pissed, and we are not going to tolerate this. No, 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 no. It's too much. Elaborate. They've pushed too far. They're, they're just asking too much, and I'm done. I'm moving. That's it. Okay. I'm out of here. Uh, you gonna you gonna move to Canada too? Yeah, I'm going what? somewhere. I can't handle this. So what what's going on? Beyonce uh, has the number one country song. This who is cares? travesty. You know, it makes sense. You know, I I thought her move. I thought that was actually a smart move on her part. You want to expand your your audience. You want to broaden it, and you know she's a. I'm outraged. World, world class. She's a world class entertainer. So no. who gives a shit? She's part of the Illuminati with Jay Z. Okay, dude. Dude, uh-huh. I've read it. It's on Twitter. I know this. I was watching Twitter the Super Bowl, exist. and I Twitter doesn't exist. Oh well, whatever. X. I don't care what it's called. Yeah. It's always Twitter to me. I don't change names. I'm an American. You're so pre- I love. I love. I love how I can predict. I knew, like, once you started ranting, I kind of knew what you were ranting about. Cannot have this. Remember when Kiss tried to go disco? That was bullshit. I took a stand then. They played that song, I Was Made For Loving You. Remember when the Beastie Boys? They're white. Mm-hmm. They can't rap. No mm-hmm. way. Nope, 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 well, yeah, nope, that nope. was in fairness, in fairness to, the, to, to the Beastie Boys critics, that was cultural appropriation at the time. And then Eminem came along and nobody cared. Nope, nope, nope. We cannot have this crossover business going on, and in no way will I tolerate okay. Beyonce doing country music. No. Except, uh, it's, well, here's... Here this is the Illuminati thing. trying to seep stretch. into culture. It was a bigger stretch for Beyonce to do it, although it's not shocking that she was able to, um, than it was for, like, a Darius Rucker. Because Hootie and the Blowfish oh, kind of no. had Dar- that no. kind of vibe. Uh, wait a minute. Anyway. No, wait. Darius uh, is different. Hootie- we like Darius. Darius Rucker fits right in just fine. He's good. He, he's good country. He ain't that Beyonce. Nope. There's a difference. Okay, so all right. <laughs> you get where I'm going with this? I I I know where you're going. How and idiotic! To, to go. Dude, I read last night nothing People but get... out, fake outrage over a country yeah. music song because Beyonce's singing it. Had they you know, had they not the told same... anybody in the world who was recording that song? It would be fine. It's the same. It's the same thing when people were outraged about Jason Aldean's song. Oh my God, this is so vile! I can't believe this. It's it's just different groups bitching about the same thing, and it was just as dumb. You know, it, it's one of those things where people get very protective of their own, whatever they believe their I, it's, own it's is. Just- I, it's silly. It's silly. It's just, but it's what we do. It's, it's just, not. It's the new. It's the fake outrage. It's beneath the us. New, no, it's not. Have you? Have you? Society doesn't make sense anymore. No. So this doesn't make sense. So why would you expect it to be? So what I'm getting at, no, I'm not. I'm not different. expecting anything. Okay. You're okay. missing. The, you're missing the. And I don't know how you can miss it because we're sitting here looking at each other and you're mm-hmm. watching me mm-hmm. emote through. The, yeah, so, yeah. So what I'm getting at here is that there's things to be concerned about, right? Not a lot, but yeah, there are some things. Well, yeah, there's a few things out there I'd I'd consider concernable. I mean, aside from the AI takeover, I don't. Yeah, know, that, that's really something to keep an eye on. You might want to keep an eye eye on, you know. So you can't even come up with it. You might want to keep an eye on making sure your house payments are in on time. You might want to keep an eye on making sure your kids turn out to be quality human beings. You might want to keep an eye on things like that, right? Mm -hmm. Who gives a flying shit? Yeah, people, this is what I've said. We've run out of problems. We don't have any real problems anymore. So we manufacture shit uh, to keep things interesting. Life has gotten too easy for most people. Life is too easy now, so people 
Hey. Manufacturing oh, wait a minute. Well. Taylor Life Swift cannot go pop. I'm sorry. Nope. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Shame on everybody that's, Shame that's on, I, being so idiotic and, and ridiculous about look, Beyonce singing a country song. Shame on I, you. Yeah, I, I did, you know, and I've been on uh, X most of the morning. I didn't see a lot of that. I saw some of it. Um, but again, uh, people, everybody's into their little uh, corners of the fake social media world, and it's all fake. But the vast majority of it is fake. Most of our most of our problems are fake. So you know, this is just this is just more of the same. So well, I don't. I'm telling I had you right a, now. I, I had you know, I had a brother. My brother in law was texting me earlier this morning about something he was angry about. Some you know, and like, dude some political thing it's like i don't care i don't he's a good guy and he's a smart guy but it's like but he's blizzard really angry about this particular it's like why be it's a wasted anger about politics anger about social media stuff anger about pop culture it's it's all manufactured bullshit well and I'm to your point you. it's just to your point it's just this is just this doesn't surprise me because this is just how we've gotten collectively individually this is what's amazing to me is if when you're out in the real world and you interact with people on a personal one-to-one -one basis we're all fine you see very little of that i mean you occasionally see groups of people holding signs and shit, and they can just be ignored um but for the most part you know you go into a store you interact with people at an event or just out on the street it's fine yeah it's when you get into well, the fake social it's when you get into the fake social media world yep. that everything gets blown completely out of proportion well, i'm going to tell you what. and you give these people way too much i'm going to uh, tell you what effect on your emotions i'm going to go out and set fire to a car today in oh, good luck with that yeah well, enjoy that's what i'm going to do okay i'm going to pull it right. right into downtown i'm going to bring a oh, good five for gallon, you. i'm going to bring yep. a five gallon can of gasoline and I'm going to hold up a sign that says "No Beyonce in Country," and I'm going to burn a car. There you go. And and I I salute your activism. That's what I'm doing. Patriot. That's what I'm doing. See, that's why I, I will not stand for it. No. See, that's that's why I have on uh, any social media platform I I'm on, uh, whatever my profession is slash uh, professional inactivist. There you go. Uh, you just well, kind of remove yourself I'm from charge. it. And okay, good. Well, there you go. That's. What would you recommend kind of car I burn? Uh, well, you could be ironic and burn a Tesla. Yeah. I don't know if I can find one, but I'll look. All right. There you go. All, All right. right, let's get into it. Uh, looking at a so-so day on Wall Street today, Asian stocks were mixed in early Wednesday trading. U.S. futures are down. Oil prices uh, seeing modest gains. Dow Jones was down a little over 60 points. To close out uh, Tuesday trading in a related story, I'm up about ninety-four dollars. My last uh, four trips to the casino playing Look at uh, you. Texas Hold'em. So I, a total. Uh, so there's, there's been an ebb and a flow there. i uh, trying to make some supplemental income to pay for my son's upcoming uh, uh, cavity fillings. Oh, well, yeah. I'll tell you too. Yesterday was a day of financials for myself. Um, yeah. I've had this account since. I was maybe 19 or 20 back mm -hmm. when, you know, there was this idea of, well, I'm going to save and be rich someday. Um, and then, <laughs> then life hits you in the nuts. Then, um, then you went into radio. Yeah. Right. Um, so there was like $600 in this account. I could no longer get on and access the form for uh, taxes to, you know, print it off to turn in 600 mm -hmm. bucks. Right. And at the end of the day, I'm like, why am I still farting around with this? So I got the password changed. I got the email changed. I got the phone number changed. As I'm on the phone with a guy, I'm like, you know what? Just cash it out and send me the money. It's 600 bucks. Yeah. It's going nowhere. I, it's not making anything. It's, it's mm -hmm. dude. Give people. me the, I can, yeah, you could use the extra six, 600 bucks. No, it's not even that. It's like, I don't need this pain in the ass. I could, every okay, year. then give it to me. I don't need that pain in the ass every year. At, t at tax time to try and hunt down this mm -hmm. one form that matters nothing and on it. just yeah i wouldn't even i would never uh, mess with it yeah but i'll think about sending it to you good idea 
Uh, you know, I'm just I'm, if if it's if if you don't if it's you know, not necessary. The charity of Dave is always is that's, always thankful. That's right. Always and appreciate. I love appreciation. All right. That's all. Yeah. That's all you need sometimes. That's right. A Gen Z is open to domestic surveillance, according to a. A recent study from the Cato Institute, one third of young Americans uh, would support government installed cameras in their homes to reduce illegal activity. No. That number drops to uh, 20% for 30 to 44 year old millennials, Gen X and the boomers, only 6% in favor. Overall, 75% opposed, 68% vehemently opposed. Uh, should be 100%, but you're not going to get 100% agreement on anything. But yeah, it doesn't. It's not a big surprise. I mean, people of that generation grew up with a tracking device. I mean, yeah. you know, we've all got them, right? So you know, we're you know we're, we're kind of living in that now. But the idea of having it in your home I'm is a bit, that. yeah, yeah, and, and um, nobody should be. But it's again, it's one of those things. It will I heard a guy the other day. Be reality. I heard a guy the other day. He would be a boomer. Um, mm -hmm. make a comment about Orwellian things for because that's what that is. That I is get it, right? Yeah. But in the same token, cameras are necessary in places to protect other things than your privacy. Now, in the case that we were talking about the other day, it's it's a park, and I, you know, I kind of honestly mm -hmm. think you need some security cameras yes. around a park. Public, to keep, public setting, yes. It's a public setting, right? Mm -hmm. So not only do you have right. to keep 100%. the public in mind, but you got to keep the the park owner in mind for liability and all this other kind of stuff. And then you also, let's say you have a, a public event, the public trashes the place, now you got camera proof to say they do it. Mm. Yeah. Now I get the thought that this is intrusive and everything like that, but on the same token, if you're the victim and then there's right. camera proof, now you got mm -hmm. something, right? Yeah. So to put them in your house, I don't think so. No. To put them around your house, yeah, okay, I'm okay with that because we've got cameras pretty much everywhere well, yeah, around if our you house put, at this it's point. It's different. You deciding right. to put up cameras for your own security, and uh, the state or feds coming in and saying, "Hey, we need to see what you." That's yeah. a completely that's different. And I and think you know what? That will never happen. Off, that no. I, you never say never. It won't. Again, we got you got thirty percent. And the young people, these are the future lead. This age I get group it. is the, and if they're open to it, it never, ever say never. Okay. There are things that have happened in the last few years that we never in a million years would have thought would happen. So I never say never, but I would agree with you. It's, it's, it's way, it's, it's way down the road. Hopefully have you, further down the road. Have you seen that commercial yeah. for the Bernsteins where... They, the Bernstein Law Firm now has access to every camera on the highway system in Michigan. So if you get in an accident mm -hmm. somewhere on a Damn. freeway in Michigan or mm -hmm. highway, mm -hmm. you just tell them what now, what highway marker you you're by, and they're mm -hmm. going to find a camera. And that, you know what? I don't have it. Again, public I, I guess is I don't either. private. You've got you've to differentiate. And this is where people get dumb and they don't understand. They're like, there's a difference between public. Yep cameras and private same thing goes with like um uh, uh body cameras on cops that's been a great thing for cops and it's been a good thing for public safety first of all it keeps the cops honest but it also keeps the you know you you got you and it helps the cops out hey yep. look this was justifiable you saw what happened we yep. got video proof so um yeah i think that's uh oh that's an overall positive and again as, as long as it doesn't come into the uh private areas and this is right you know, this is a thing, you know, we were worried about, you know, post 9-11, it became, you know, are we going to enter into a government surveillance state? Both right. sides politically have kind of flipped on that. But I think by and large, most people, regardless of their their uh, political affiliations, would say, plus, yeah, we don't want it in our homes. Plus, if you think about this, they put a camera in your house, there goes your OnlyFans channel. Uh, you know, exactly. You know, which, what, and what's you've got a self-respecting lady? For it. Not me, not me. I don't have one. Oh, I was I was thinking about those you those had ladies, one. those ladies who are putting themselves through college. Oh, you know? that's not your channel. I've been tuned into. That's no, not mine. No. Okay. No, that's Looks not my like thing. It. Again, you know, teach their own. I judge not. I'm not judging. I, judge. I was proud no, of you. No, I, I was Good saying I'm not. I'm just saying 
it's that's for other people. Finally, we're number eight. We're number eight when it comes to potatoes. The potato industry is booming in the state of Michigan, and we are now the eighth largest producer of the faux vegetable in the country. The $2.5 billion industry in the state is responsible for over 21,000 jobs. Well, I there would you like go. That's to... how you wrap up. That's how that... you wrap up the news portion. Not only is that exciting, but I can add to that in ways that you would have never imagined because go ahead. I've got connections. I know people. Mm -hmm. I know people who know people. You know, I've I've been around, right? Mm -hmm. Uh let's just say that uh, I keep it secret of some of the people that I know. Because I don't want to go around being a braggart. Mm -hmm. That's not you. No, not me. I don't like to be a name dropper. I don't like to sound like I'm plugged into the entire planet. I don't like to sound like uh, my lineage has brought me to the point that I am, right? But growing up, your people. My, well, yeah, this is my you tribe. had that famine. Your people had that famine. This way is my back tribe. When. This is my tribe. I didn't pick mm -hmm. them. I no. I, this is just what I was born You're born into. into it. Okay, mm -hmm. but uh, growing up, my mom's BFF. She was the Munger Potato Queen from Munger, wow. Michigan. I know. So wow, me and the potato industry from Michigan, we got we got deep roots, deep. So you're you're borderline royalty. You're borderline well, potato royalty. I I would be kind of I think, if I look at the hierarchy of my mom's best friend's family, mm -hmm. I think I might be a duke of potatoes. Um, Has okay, go ahead. Maybe a duke. Um, I was trying to think, maybe an earl. Um, could I be the earl of potatoes? I don't know. Earl of the, Spuds. Earl of, Earl spuds. of spuds. The Earl of because Spuds. The, the, there the you have spuds, it. The Spuds community yes. has embraced you so much. But and let they me have tell you. Put you on this pedestal uh, we, that, yes, I would knowing, say. Knowing the Munger Potato Queen mm -hmm. and the life it gave us as kids, you know, because the Munger Potato Queen's husband uh, worked in the natural gas and propane business. Mm -hmm. So we got to travel to all of the exotic locations as kids. Um, we started off. Uh, when they lived in Cadillac, that was fun yes. for vacations. Um, and then they moved to um, Jefferson City, Iowa. I enjoyed that. Uh, there was a time in Nebraska that was just breathtaking. Um, anywhere uh, propane and natural gas needed to be serviced, he went. And the Munger Potato Queen followed. And so did we. Um, that was our family wow. vacations back then. Basking <laughs> in the glory of the Munger Potato Queen. Dear one, we went to great friend. We went to we went to a hotel with bugs in the pool in Rap City Haven for uh, two days. Wow! And three nights. That and was uh, where is Rap City Haven? I don't even know. Mm. It's somewhere in the state of Michigan. One, was, you know, one to Google, go. right there. And there you go. You go Google Rap City Haven and bug infested pools, and you may come upon uh, one of our great Cackley family vacations. We loved all you wanted as a kid. And I, I, I kind of mock it in hindsight, but all we wanted was a, all I wanted was a pool and HBO. Right. That was all I wanted. Well, Cannonball when I was Run like was nine. on five times a day. Exactly. How could you miss that? Cannonball Run, Rocky <laughs> Two. It was. It's all you know. And I'll tell you, looking Arthur, back, we, Arthur. A drunken, would you like me to scrub your... Dudley Moore. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's it. Yeah, I, and there was one. The one time we went to, I, well, I do recall. Um. There was a there was an amusement park involved, and it wasn't a roller coaster on rails. It was on mm -hmm. on wheels. It was on rails, and I recall yeah. my dad nearly shitting himself on that roller coaster. It was kind of scary. <laughs> my sister wanted to go on it. She thought it was smart. She was terrified. My dad nearly had a mess, and yeah, that was our amusement yeah. park in Iowa. I'm with your dad. That's not roller yeah. coasters are not my thing. All right. All right, sports. Sparty goes down at home to Iowa. The Hawkeyes shoot the lights. See what happens when you see what happens when you 71. gloat. You know what? I think that was. I think. Uh, I think Sparty got a little full of themselves. That's which what makes happens. No sense because you've had a you've had a barely above mediocre season. So Arrogance. Far. They got they got to get it together uh, over the next couple of weeks to make Otherwise, that change. Hey. We shall. To be continued. It's still February. We're not into Izzo March time yet. Yeah. Well. That's sports. Abe Lincoln for a thousand.
pressure today. We're talking a thousand. One of Lincoln's gifts from his last Christmas was this Georgia city from General Sherman. Georgia City. I am Georgia. thinking. It's now. Georgia. Yeah, I love, yeah, I love Ray Charles. Oh, okay. That was I'm, Nelson. It was it Savannah? Oh my God! Pulled that one out of his ass. No. Oh, I, you did. It was yeah. I, I you vaguely recalled that. No, you didn't. And if you notice, notice my eye. That's the wrong eye. I don't notice no. anything. Oh, that one still looks black. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It looks perfect. You got your ass kicked by a girl. No, no, no. Nothing no. wrong with that. Nothing Don't wrong with that. Stuff. Don't need this stuff. Don't yep. need this. Okay. Non-matching. Have waste. a great day, RuPaul. We'll see you back here tomorrow. <laughs>a few sprinkles are possible today but most of the day will be pretty nice so let's take a look here for a cast brought to you by trinity hill like i said isolated rain showers are possible today but most of those will just be sprinkles so it really won't impact your day today an uneventful weather should be occurring most of the time over the next several days until colder temperatures will arrive on saturday but that will be very brief temperature wise today will be in the mid to upper 40s across most of muskegon county maybe the lower 40s further to the north near Montague and Whitehall, and also closer to the lakes such as Norton Shores. But for your Wednesday, expect a high around 45 degrees with partly cloudy skies for much of the day, besides a few sprinkles that will be possible, especially during the morning and early afternoon hours. Then overnight, we'll cool down to 30 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. And then the mostly cloudy skies will hang on through Friday with temperatures will cool down going into the weekend. We'll be around 30 degrees on Saturday, from near 50 degrees on Thursday, but that cold weather will only be lasting about a day or so as we'll warm right back into the 50s for the following week. And that is your Wednesday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health on the Muskegon Channel, and I'm Cold Woods Weather, and have a wonderful Wednesday.